So then, uh, it's taken um, it's taken quite a long time to explore this area, despite using the cheaty technique. Uh, and this is <laughs> this is the only other spot I found so far. There might be a beauty in here, but so far. This has been a massive disappointment, I have to say. Uh, we're going to whack a waypoint in the middle of this. Well, we can fast travel there. Let's just do that. That's the cheaty technique, by the way, that I've just done there. Because I'm right at the edge of my... So this is all fog of war, and you'll see if I go back to the boat, and then go back to the map, I've now unlocked that whole area. That's the cheaty technique. I don't normally do that, but I'm so tired right now that if I just tried to drive the boat properly I'd just fall asleep I really would it's so relaxing this game so chilled out that I within minutes I'd be asleep so I can't, I can't do it properly today I just cannot I cannot I cannot I cannot I thought I saw a jetty out here somewhere as well I suppose that's not important right where are we in terms of fishy wishies there's a couple there isn't there Kind of smack bang in the middle of that hot spot, so as soon as I see some fish. That's a cod alright. We'll pop that in. Again using the big net because it's not it's not a hot spot, it's not very hot at all. So um, we want to maximize our chances of catching anything. Seagulls are lively, that's a good sign. Hope the crew aren't too disappointed with uh, the lack of luck. You never know, when we pull the nets in, it might look very, very different. If we can get like a million kroner, pay off our debts, that would be nice. In fact, if we get a million kroner, we might be able to just buy uh, the Lunar Bow. And then go do some trawling, who knows. Okay, well I'm going to carry on searching, see if I can find anything else out here. Wish me luck guys, wish me luck. So guys, we're as far south as we can go. We've met the ice. This is our physical boundary right here. Oh, looks like we've got some fishies out here though, look. Let's drop that net, why not? We haven't found anything else out here. <laughs> Been a minor disaster this run, if I'm being totally honest. I didn't find very much at all. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's the whole thing, that's the whole place done and found and... Something's blocking my ability to fast travel? Is there a bit of ice? There is, there's some ice! <gasps> oh, It's probably quite dangerous over here. And I've just realised our fuel situation is pretty bad. That's obviously one of the major one of the major concerns for, uh, well, one of the ma major consequences of fast travelling everywhere is it uses a lot more fuel. So yeah, I, we don't want to get this close to the ice very often. I don't think the ice is dynamic, so you're not going to find ice floating around anywhere other than sort of here where it is. just learnt Sir Roger Bannister has died at 88.
Oh dear. Oh, oh god! Oh, major problems, major problems. Wow, we ran aground. Goodness me. That's not happened anywhere else on this map. Oh, we're in big trouble here. Big, big, big trouble. Uh, Rudy, I need, desperately need you to get... Oh my god! We could lose the boat here, guys. Oh my god! We're going to lose the boat. <gasps> Your boat is sinking. You should call the rescue service. Be careful, your fuel tank is less than 25%. That's it, we've lost the boat. The boat has gone. 1.1 million kroner. <laughs> oh crap. Well, that that will that'll teach me. That will teach me for sure. What? I get to keep the boat? That's crazy. So they... They... They rescued the boat. They've repaired the boat. And they lent us the money to have all these repairs done. Well, that was unexpected. And the crew's still okay? And he's just levelled up. Well, that's interesting. Normally, I think you lose the boat. I wonder if it's because I chucked Rudy on the repair before the boat went down that somehow that's kind of sneakily allowed me to keep the boat because technically that should be gone. I didn't have any insurance on it or anything. And we've got 1.2 million in the bank. <laughs> Is that the most epic bug ever? That is insane. I can now buy the Lunar Bow, can I not? No, how much is the Lunar Bow? That must be like 2.4 million. You know what? I don't know how much it is. And my net's still out. And my nets are still out as well. One day, 19 hours and 18 minutes. I think we're going to lose that net before we get there. Not that that's <clears throat> in any way a big deal, because... Um, we've just earned 1.2 million just by me being really tired not paying attention and, and smashing the boat up can you believe that can you believe that that is absolutely amazing clearly that's a bug that that is not how the game is meant to meant to behave at least as far as i understand it i know they're implementing way more arcadey features for those people who don't like the simulated element of this game but surely not to that extent I don't think that's quite how that's supposed to have gone <laughs> but I'm not complaining I'm not complaining and if I can get my net in that would be awesome especially oh it's gone all right we're gonna try What's this red line? Oh man, the whole game's gone buggy. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a bit of a bit of undiscovered uh, ocean there. So we'll just do the we'll do the trick. I'm a bit peeved I sunk my boat, I'll be honest. But I, I did say before I even set off that I'm really super tired. And I am ridiculously tired. It looks like I'm getting pretty close to that. Right, so where is the net? You're not supposed to be able to get that close to the nets, are you? So it looks like the game has... <clears throat> seemingly introduce some bugs here, there and everywhere. There's no terrible thing. Well, it is a terrible thing, but... Uh, 
we'll cope, we'll cope. All right, so good. Well, for a minute there, I was actually panicking, but now I feel pretty okay. I wonder if I can pull a net in and just put it straight back out again. Is that possible? I've not tried that before. So pull it up, drop it back down in exactly the same place. Right, let's get these boys sorted. Who's really good at machine gun? Looks like you are. So you can go there. And you two boys are on the nets. Now if we look at the map real quick, it's been out for a long time so I'm not expecting anything decent off it, but just the fact that we still got a boat after everything that's happened is uh, pretty awesome. Oh, no fish were caught at all. Well, okay, well I've got a net now, haven't I? So can I just drop it in? Yes I can. And away we go again. That's pretty handy, isn't it? I suppose technically that is accurate. No reason why you shouldn't be able to do that. And I'm right in the middle of this hot spot, so as long as I don't sink the boat again, we should be all right. The weather's good for the next couple of days. We've got 1.2 million in the bank. We've got a full tank of fuel. I think we've got debts of about 2 million. I'll check that in a second. But other than that, well that pinged out a bit, didn't it? Other than that, I think we're pretty much okay. Uh, Ah, oh, really? I can't see my bank balance whilst I'm at sea. That's a bit of a frustration. Okay, well, I think I'm going to see if I can hot tail it down. Oh no, that, that net down the bottom has gone. So what I might do then is just unlock the rest of this using this cheaty, cheaty, cheaty method, which I don't really like, but I'm really tired, as I said. So I'm making an allowance for myself today. There's a small little spot there. We don't have any more nets on board, so I can't do anything. Even if we find the golden spot. It's not going to help us a great deal. But, uh... My hunch was wrong. I mean, it couldn't have been more wrong. Not only did we not find any fish, I sunk the boat, so <laughs> that just goes to show that sleep is important and sleep deprivation is a problem. Could have lost the entire crew there, could have had seriously serious ramifications. Right, okay, we're going to hot tail it all the way back to port. Whilst we're there, we're going to look and see how much the lunar bow is going to cost. We're going to pick up some nets and then we're going to do some seriously fast fishing. Ding dong. Okay. getting dragged into port. Uh, let's go to town, let's have a look at the bank. So we are 2.1 million in debt, but we've got 1.2 million in the bank because of this issue. Um, I think... Thirty-five thousand for that, definitely. Insurance. I 
Okay, so I've spent quite a few pounds there. Uh, in fact, I haven't spent anything. That'll come out monthly. So, I mean, that's that's definitely money well spent right there. Um, we'll get the fuel up. Now, I want to see how much the Lunar Bell is going to cost me. 14 million kroner. <laughs> Zang the bang. Okay, so that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. And I only need to travel another 74 kilometers to unlock the Hermes. I really think they've put the, the standards way too low now. I quite liked that it would take you a very long time to unlock the Hermes, but now it just seems like you can complete this game far too quickly. It's a bit of a shame, but uh, I think they're trying to cater for the less hardcore sim uh, people. Which is, it's understandable, there's probably more of them than there are of us. What the heck? What's going on there? That was a bit weird. Um, right, okay, so we've got a lot of uh, fishing to do before, no, that's the wrong thing. A lot of fishing to do before we can do anything else. So, let's upgrade our engine. I want to go for that. But I also want to go for that. That means we don't quite have enough of that. Right, we'll do it this way then. So we've got maximum capacity there. We've got the gutting table. We do need some nets. We could get a freezer, but I don't really think there's much point in that. If we'd have had side thrusters implemented I think that might have saved us uh, from the from running aground but uh, I don't know for sure uh, so yeah I'm just gonna grab some nets one of each perfect right guys uh, I'm gonna call it there because that's been quite an epic uh, episode and it's quite long already this might even end up being two episodes, I don't know. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Apologies for my severe lack of uh, mental clarity. But uh, we are now hunting down fish in order to get the lunar bow on board. So thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Till next time. Goodbye.